This is Ken Pyle with VOD TV. We're at uh, Parks Associates Connections Conference at CTIA. We're with Frank LaBibera of Affinity. Frank, you're uh, relatively new to Affinity. Congratulations. Thank so, you. Tell us, tell us a little bit about Affinity. Uh, sure, i um, pl be pleased to. Uh, so Affinity has been um, in the business for, for 10 years. Uh, the genesis of the company was really making it easy to connect devices uh, on the home network. Uh, they've moved uh, to having a much bigger vision of having cloud-based services and having visibility, remote access to devices in the home. And, um, you know, devices in the home are, are just exploding in terms of everything's connected, whether it's uh, access points, set-top boxes, smart TV, obviously tablets and mobile phones uh, so the number of average um, connected devices on the home network now is is, is significant and um, you know that uh, it cr certainly um, is exciting and creates opportunities well it's very obviously very relevant to this conference where uh, much of the focus is on the connected home um, given its connections so how is that relating uh, as far as what you're seeing you know who's kind of controlling that home is it the service provider is it going to be the retailer yeah, I mean, I think the you know, in some respects, the jury's still out in terms of it, it's just really an open uh, slate. Um, I mean, certainly the uh, service providers have a great uh, position in terms of providing uh, the broadband access uh, into the home, and um, but there's certainly plenty of devices uh, within the home network um, that are provided by uh, consumer electronic companies, whether they're being uh, offering mobile devices or smart TVs, et cetera. So I think there's actually lots of players. Uh, but but that creates challenges is all those various players need to work uh, in a harmonious way and um, and that's in fact what uh, Affinity software does is is bring uh, is kind of the glue that makes the experience uh, uh, much more uh, user-friendly well, we were just talking to Melissa Dukin of uh, Parks Associates she was talking about the whole idea of you know, the diff distinction between connected home and smart home right. and uh, it seems like that cloud is the place where the smarts happen right? yeah yeah that's right I mean certainly if you look at it from a, a service provider perspective when there was a migration from just an access point to an integrated access point with wireless router uh, they became really ground zero for a lot of uh, customer service calls related to connected devices that are in the home and as that number goes from 8 to 10 to 12 and and beyond connected devices that just magnifies the number of uh, potential issues that arise that generally the first line of defense is to call your your service provider and so really service providers today really need a a tool that gives their agents visibility into the home network not only to uh, help reduce calls but shrink the length of those calls and ultimately reduce your OPEX and improve customer satisfaction. Is there an opportunity for, uh, in your view, uh, for operators, service providers to uh, kind of monetize that in, in some way? Yeah, I mean, certainly. I mean, the one thing about these these cloud platforms is, in some respects, they're sort of the Trojan horse. Is they, they may be driven initially as sort of a, an OPEX play, is if I can reduce customer service calls, reduce truck rolls, I reduce OPEX. But they're also a, a service enabling platform as well. And so using that pipe, uh, you can start offering things like um, uh, parental control and uh, home security and uh, home automation, e-health, et cetera. And so it becomes this platform to enable a, a number of other services that certainly can be monetized. Well, that makes a lot of sense, and it seems like um, uh, it seems like we're still guess just getting started in this in some ways. Yeah, I mean, and, and that's that's exciting. I think there's lots of room for growth, but you know, the key foundation is you need to have that easy connectivity in order to enable those services to be viable that customers actually want to use them. And from a um, uh, just a, a cost standpoint, I mean, we're looking at pretty low cost networking technology, so you know, a lot of things can have have connectivity right. and so from a management standpoint is it does it also follow suit that you can manage those things those you know low cost uh, uh, devices yeah I, I mean I, I think so and certainly when you you have other business models uh, in terms of being able to do revenue sharing on app downloads etc uh, it becomes an exciting space and certainly you know it, it may be very analog analogous to the mobile space where it was very much an app play and uh, you know the broadband market may uh, uh, start to look like that as well where where people will be able to go to their broadband store and download apps specifically for their uh, their needs well that's that's a very interesting way to look at it well Frank it was great to meet you and uh, thank you very much.